Okinawa. You gave me you gave me the first letters. That's all I need. You didn't pause that whole time, did you? No, I think the camera was just spinning around while I was unpaused that whole time. While I'm in the shop. <laughs> it's Kojima if you had a working man's degree. Long Long Man's a great series of commercials. Alright, well we have backpacks. Do we want stuff like repair kit? Skeleton repair kit? Map to mongrel? Tech hunter's map? Engineer's map? Tech hunter notes? I imagine this is like a bit of a general store. You'll want a large backpack. Alright, I'll buy a large backpack. Don't give me that money. You don't need this one after you sell the eggs. Okay. It always looks like we're sneaking, but like we just have horrible crippling scoliosis. Life destroying scoliosis. Don't mind me, I'm just watching cheese goo. Oh. My next store! There it is. Well, the bar is probably not a good store, is it? Do do do. A flat skin that fights? Or is that sword? I don't have a sword! Leave me alone! I- I st I do not have a sword! But I will soon. There's a character called Crumble John with the same posture. Hello, sir. Let me make my way around to the other side of the counter where people do their shopping normally. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh. The plank. Oh, this one's different from all the other ones. All right, looks like this shop just sells very large swords. Is there more shop upstairs? Oh yeah, yeah, sell the eggs. Good point. Might as well get straight down to uh, the monies. Mm hmm. No, no. I have never played this game before, so I don't have any, like, concept. Don't know, like, what our builds. Falling Sun, one of the best weapons in the game. Well, I can always go for a Falling Sun. I'm looking to sell. There we go. All the eggs have been sold. Armored rags. Looks like plate jacket might be the best armor here. Samurai armor, though. No, samurai armor looks to be the best. I bet Odin fell asleep. He's been awfully quiet.
He missed the whole egg heist, it's true. He'll have the VODs, and all this will end up on YouTube. Oh my god. My, I just realized what editing all of this is going to be like. I'll probably have to create a separate recording soon. I don't want one file on my computer that's going to be 24 hours long. <laughs> there you go. Buy my rags, please. Some boots. Quality. I was just looking at the stats. I got standard grade. Oh, I bought shoddy grade. Shit. I was just looking at those numbers. Son of a bitch. Does he buy back at full... Full value? Alright, we got standard grade plate jacket. Can we find better grade samurai armor? Shoddy shoddy. Looks like if I want samurai, it's gonna be- Oh, here we go! Nope, that's leggings. I already got- sta Excuse me, standard. Alright, once we close the menu, that makes sense. Drifter's leather jacket's high grade. <clears throat> Should I get high grade leather jacket or standard grade plate jacket? As a newbie here, like, what's better, the, the stats or the quality? Standard plate? Yeah, I can't get any samurai stuff unless it's shoddy grade. But I can get standard. I can get standard plate or high grade leather. No standard samurai. Alright. Oh wait, no. We want to replace our backpack soon. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. My pants are fine. Let's get some decent face armor. Standard grade armored face. Standard grade armored face. Standard grade armored face. No, no samurai stuff for that quality. Oh! Standard boots. Some standard plated long boots. Bap. Drop all your shit and put on the new backpack, then pick it up. That's the plan. Leather vest. Does this go into my shirt slot? It's uh, standard, standard. Last but not least, some decent face coverage. 2135. Harpoon resistance? Can I, like, put this next to you so I can compare you two? Ah, uh, this one offers weather protection. Alright, I'll take weather protection. You sell belts here? I want to fill in all the slots. No belts, huh? Useful for certain ways of playing. It seems like it's good for stacking? Those are blueprints. Alright, I'm satisfied with what happened here. What if I just do that? 
Oh, my stuff is still inside of that. Is my stuff on the floor right now? Camera, what are you doing to me? Wooden backpack. Can I just drop you into other backpack? Nope, looks like we're gonna have to throw it on the floor. That's fine. Do do do. Ah, uh, look at us. Armored weird frogman. Nara, sleep well. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Alright, I got the weapon shop there. What's this shop? What the hell is this? How much damage does Traxxon get hit by crossbows? Pleasant dreams, Nara. Well, don't need to be in a police station. Is my armor so heavy that I am at a- oh yeah, I'm, I'm very heavy. Game is saved. Hello, sir. I would like your finest kill- kill stick. So how do I tell weapon quality? It doesn't seem to mention. Oh, the colors happen. Model, that one's like blue. These are not blue. They're samurai desert Klingons with warrior culture. Model number refitted blade. Welcome back, Ephemeris. Should I just get this bad boy right here? Get myself a falling sun. Reminds me of how I die in case of cut from time to time. Oh, yeah. Looks like slave. Yes, yes, uh... Wee Wee Piss Baby is the, uh, descendant. Sell the stick, you got it. Here you go, bud. All right. I got a big scary sword. And I'm ready. Ready to take on the world. How to steal? So how do we make ourselves stronger so we're no longer as encumbered? Yeah, okay, how to steal? Pick up something that's not yours. Can we not stack them in this backpack? Oh, interesting. That's why this is here. 
You see the strength XP state in the bottom left area. 25% is the highest it gets without lugging around a corpse. Oh. Um. As we run around, we'll just kind of strength up. Oh yeah, bedroll. Ah, much better. Just run back and forth between the two gates. Going to an area called Skinner's Room. You point me in that direction, I'll walk there. Sleeping bag. Bull backpack. Is sleeping bag what I'm looking for? Looks like it. Oh, thieves backpack. That's like a cooler version of my backpack. Sleeping bag. Trained by getting the shit kicked out of you over and over again. I feel like that'll happen regardless. Oh, yeah. I don't know how long it took, but we finally got a man who's not going to die instantly. He died instantly. So, what's the benefit to pausing time in the trader menu? Someone needs my help! I'm- I'm coming! I'm coming, people! Point me to the enemy. I can't- my face is directly into the ground. I look like a bug. Like, this is a praying mantis without a head. The backpack is not helping. Oh, if you take too long, you trespass. All right, where? How do we get there? Skinner's room. You point me in a direction, I'll start walking there. Directly right. Big open desert area, like right here. A little above that, huh? Over here? Let's go. I'm sure we'll run into friends along the way, too. If you see a corpse, pick it up. Weight training with bodies. Man, the first eight and a half hours of this 24 hour stream flew by. No time at all. Who's that piss baby? It's wee wee piss baby. He's gonna wee wee all the way to the piss babe place. Yeah, Noida, Noida, I could play Noida probably for a full 24 hour stream and not even notice time passing to be honest. 
Caves of Cud, Noida. I think those are like the two I could just sink a whole day if I didn't pay attention to them. Probably Rift Wizard too. You were assuming that was gonna happen. I feel like like it was just a good way to open. <laughs> And I'm sure we'll end up doing a little bit more toward the very tail end. I've definitely done like eight hour streams of Just Noida many a time. Change your mind about what direction you were going to go? Oh, that's fine. His pathing is doing what it can. Eventually, Creedmoor will wake up from his little headache nap, and I will do we'll do lunch, lady. <laughs> that was a very good butterfly stroke. Actually, that was more of like a frog stroke. I do love watching this guy run, though. I feel like my character really finds his humanity in the water. I love the pathing. Like, you could see the computer going, no, that's a wall. I'm getting stronger. Come on, dude. Don't be so much small, like, faster than me. Come on. Shoot, dude. We got wandering herds of weird beast things. The people I'll call them. Garu. Not to be confused with Gyaru. The sexy subculture. I really hope that when we get to like 7 a.m., some of those West Coast people that I like raiding when I end my streams, when they're just beginning their streams, like Cap and K, I hope they raid me. It will be the first time ever. It'll be such a weird, a weird mind flip. So tell me more about Kenshi, like, on a general level. Is there any, like... Like, Caves of Cut, it has a plot, basically. You know, there's a through-line quest. There's an overall story to the the world. Even though it's randomly generated in a lot of ways, there's... There's a consistent story. Is there something like that in Kenshi, or is it pure... Do whatever you want in the open world? Is there, like, a primary quest? Are there quests? Period. Are there quests in this game? There's no story, just lore. All right. You just kind of plop in and go. Bounties, which are sort of pseudo quests. You can join factions. It's kind of like uh, an open-ended simulation almost, but like as an RPG. Is that like a fair way to think about it? Oh, oh. What we got here? You can build the base. It's janky and miserable. Yeah, my character is a real nightmare. Nomad animal trainer. Oh there, townie. I have animals for sale. Carry your stuff for you. Fight alongside you. Make a good meal, they do. 
Whoa, what do you got? To, what do you got? Pack beast, pack beast, pack beasts. Bone dog. Bone dog's ready. I might buy a, a bone dog. There's a final boss sort of kind of sort of thing with Catlon. <laughs> Things just glitched through the walls. I will buy a bone dog. It's pretty goddamn cheap. Wait, I get to make my bone dog? Goats are OP? Should I be buying a boat too? Owner dag. Where'd my man go? Ah oh, shit, I am the bone dog. Let's again, just just to remind us of how our character doesn't work. Like, can you looking at this? Do you see where his feet are? I'm standing on my own ass. I am balanced on my face. Feet firmly planted on my own ass cheeks. Yeah, let me let me show you him in, in motion here. We'll have him walk toward the camera. <laughs> Yeah. Keep my bone dog safe. <laughs> How you doing, Trail? <laughs> I think you need a space between uh, the quote and the ad. The loot is meat. Doesn't seem nice. What'd you think of Hellblade? That's been on my list for a while. It's something I want to play at some point. Ten out of ten. I look forward to playing it sooner or later. It's been it's been on my to do list for ages. Ah, uh, Skinner's room. Principal Skinner. Keep my dog away from me. He seems to be just zipping off. If I just leave him somewhere on the map, will he be fine? Have I ever played Hotline Miami? Hell yes, I have. Hotline Miami is one of my favorites. I love Hotline Miami. If I go to map, can I like find my dog? It looks like I could, so I could, like, just tell my dog to hide, like, behind this rock over here. Whereas Wee Wee Piss Baby could, like, wander off. Will my dog eventually die of thirst? Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Both Hollywood Miami 1 and 2 are great. This is what we're here for. I'm gonna get into a drag out fight with these bastards. Put your backpack in your inventory. Alright. They can't rob me now. Oh, having a health kit would probably be a good idea, yeah. Alright, got a health kit. Backpacks in my inventory. 
Looks like we found a bunch of fucking nerds. Have you seen uh, the newest John Wick, John Wick 4? Because there is a fight sequence in John Wick 4 that is ripped directly from Hotline Miami. It is, I think, my favorite fight in the franchise. You motherfuckers want to fight? Every time you get up with lots of enemies around, your toughness will go up a bunch. Hit him with your big sword! Do better than that. No, come on. You could do better than that. Swing a sword ever. There we go. Yes. Learn. Is it the mob boss fight from Hollow Miami? It's films top down in like the skeleton of a building. It looks like a hyper realistic mod for Hollow Miami. There are characters using like flaming rounds on shotguns, so it's just like a burst of a fire out of a shotgun. It's incredible. It's just if Hollow Miami were actually live action, that's what that fight sequence was. So, so the plan is just let them beat me? Alright, we fell down. And now we just wait until we stand up. Oh, he's crying. He feels bad. Yeah, it's incredible, Bobonic. So now we just wait until we stand up. <laughs> playing dead. Uh. Okay. Alright, we were only in the floor for a little while. Toughness went up to 24. And now I just use one of these bad boys, right? It looks like I'm applying first aid. Oh, just keep on letting the giant horde of nerds beat me up with their, their sticks? Ah, shit, I lost them. How'd they get- how did I lose a thousand people that fast? Have you ever seen A Boy and His Dog, the movie? It's- it's a fun one. Fun in, in like, you know grim, post-apocalyptic, pseudo-horror movie kind of way. Did I not buy a splint kit? I feel like I really bought a splint kit. You can't lie to me. I didn't buy a splint kit. Guess I'll hobble on over... to the town over there. That one. Surely this is a, a safe, happy place and nothing bad will happen if we go that way. You gotta buy a splint kit. One of my very good... It's true, I forget to pause. This game, like, feels like it's turn-based. I'm actually on purpose leaving my dog back there just so we could be, uh, be safe. Do they not have any shops in there? I guess we can go to Tiny Settlement. All right, me, me and me and Boner Dag are gonna go to uh, Tiny Settlement. I I without thinking play this game like it's turn based. Oh, that's a real good rapid limp animation. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
How do I get better at hitting things with a sword? Yeah, just sleeping in a bedroll does the trick for healing. Be bad at hitting things. Being bad at hitting things with a sword is the first step in being good at hitting things with a sword. I'm already not limping. Man, Boner Dag, slow down! You're so much better at getting around than I am. I mean, sacks of turds are notoriously good at falling and hitting the ground. Real wet plop kind of situation. Just trade into dodge. Ah, the boaters of. Glass Joe from Punch Out. You guys, you guys gotta like, whoa! Let's stand still for a second. Anything, any, any, any selling people here? No. This is, this is just like a garbage heap that people sleep in, I see. Well, in that case, time to take out my bedroll. <clears throat> Alright, how do I use you, sleeping bag? There is a way station nearby? I'll go to a way station. There it is. No, no, no. I got a way station nearby. Keep this in my inventory just in case we get waylaid by bandits. Besides, walking with this heavy, heavy bag means I'm getting stronger. Boner Dag, you're so fast. I'll build my bed in here. 10 minus 2. <laughs> hey, you also totally opened the build menu. You babied me too. We successfully stole all the eggs and sold them. Now we're rich. Ah, we we piss baby made it all the way home. So we're in some sort of sleeping establishment. What do you got? Rum, sleeping bag. Ah, splint kit. I'll buy three of you. Dried meat, a food cube, grog, ooh, sake. Skeleton repair kit. Delicious meat wraps. Right, we're in the bar right now. Is this an inn as well? Can I sleep in here? Can I pay someone for a nice rest? Is that upstairs, maybe? Ah. Uh. And now I just stay in bed until these bars fill back up, I assume. <coughs> <coughs> Try 
trying to figure out what what exactly we're doing while we sleep. Look at this. What body part is what? That's a hand, I think. Is that my foot? Automod, why? Oh, look at the size of that shoe. There he is. Look at, there's our handsome boy. Been hiding our face the whole time. Ah, oh, look at him. His mustache. His mustache clips out of the mask. See you when you wake up, Mighty Odin. So this is why we kept on being alerted to, uh... This is why the guards kept being alerted to our escape attempts. Because we exist mostly in the floor. How can someone so tall be in the floor all the fucking time? Oh, he's horrible. Day four. Your chest is in the- your arm is in the process of healing. I wonder if we could just have the dog buy his own food. How to research tech, how to steal. You just hired your first recruit. Well, I don't know if I hired a recruit. I, I purchased a dog. I don't think I'm paying him like a, a daily wage or a weekly wage or anything. Is a dog a recruit though? You're paid in belly rubs and ear scritches. The good life, in other words. Mm -mm -mm. All right, almost fully healed. Dog likes to play limb. What's that mean? It's just them running away with limbs in their mouths. There's a mod called Everyone's Scary that turns all the sliders up to 11 on the NPCs, making them all horrifying Cronenberg monsters. That sounds like my kind of game. I'm sorry, why is my blood not at 100%? Is there something wrong with my blood? Do I need to see a phlebotomist? How, how concerned should I be? All right, let's buy some dried meat for for Dag. Yes, I'd like your finest dried meats for my Dag, please. Where are you at, Dag? Meet me outside. I'm guessing that's like a... We're gonna find robot legs and stuff in there. How do I give him things? Do I just... <laughs> How do I put it in his inventory? Uh, no room for that item. I should list all my picks for essential mods in the Discord. That way you know what would improve the game. I would appreciate it. I don't know how to give the dog meat. He definitely has room for meat. Doesn't seem like he could pick stuff up off the floor either. They can't carry anything. Oh, well, in that case. 
I'll just have to give him food occasionally, I suppose. All right, back into the wild wastes where we could be attacked randomly. But just me, not you, Dag. It's time to let some strange men beat me up. Guess I'll keep a splint kit in my inventory, too. Keep the meat in here, because I imagine... I imagine the strange homeless men we're gonna get into a fight with will try to take my meat. Do, 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 do. That's kind of their thing. <laughs> Nice long walk. They're not the rather satiated bands. They're the starving bands. They're the hungry boys. We're just looking for large packs of- oh, I think I got them. Alright, inventory is all set. No food for them to take from me. What's ranged mean? Prioritize range targets. Hello! You want to maybe uh, have scuffle? We fight maybe? I'm blending into their ranks. Take him! Take him! Come on, get better at hitting people with your giant sword. I have both my arms, right? Jeez, it really sometimes looks like I don't. I'm gonna keel over from head injuries very soon. There he goes. There goes Wee Wee Piss, baby. Just hammer on the get up button. You can funnel my balls all you want. You're not gonna find any food in there. All right. Do I chase after them, or do I heal myself? Yeah, 24 to 30, it's 27 to 34. We're definitely getting tougher. Ow. Hey, stop that. Oh, majestic. Look at them all turn at the same time. Heal yourself up, bud. Bob, why does this dude want us to fondle his balls so much? I want to know why he wants us to beat him with our sticks so much. Am I in need of splinting? Hey, come back! Beat me up some more! 
Yes. Hit me, beat me. Make me feel alive again. I'm happy just to duel this one guy. After him. Come back. You don't want just one guy? I mean, I definitely went up still. Beat me up some more. Come on, I need to feel alive again. I need the pain. Come on, bud. Come on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you. Come here, you. Let's fucking dance. You and me. You, you and all three of us. You and literally everyone you've ever known. Ah, uh, you got me. Super Hobbit! Hello there. Welcome to hour nine of the 24 hour stream. Let's go on, Gasso. Rosie. This is my first time playing Kenshi. I'm letting this crowd of strange people beat me up. When you're called Wee Wee Piss Baby, you, you let strange men beat you up on the streets. That's just how it is. I feel like maybe at negative 21 head, maybe, maybe, maybe I should be taking a nap instead of letting the strange men beat me up. Or should I still be letting them beat me up? I can go until negative 45. Get back here and beat me up. <laughs> piss baby raid. Hey, wee wee piss baby. Thank you very much. Crowd of strange people beating you up. Hmm? That means you're playing Kenshi, right? What? <laughs> Can I ask if Wee Wee Piss Baby is a reference to that Gianna video where he does an immaculate impression of Spike from Cowboy Bebop asking for the cool lady to make him her bitch? Wee Wee Piss Baby is a reference uh, more to the general stylings of uh, Vinny from from Vine Sauce. Koala Baritone, thank you for that follow. Welcome to Shake the Box family. We're very happy to have you here. I don't know what I'm doing in Kenshi. This is my first time playing it. <laughs> We have a lot of other stuff that'll be happening in the next thousands of hours. If you were interested in an amazing YouTube video. Oh yeah, yeah. If you could post it in, in the, the Shake the Box Discord so I could watch it after the stream, I'd be I'd be much obliged. Oh god. I lost I lost my crowd of ruffians. So far today we played Noida and this. Uh, other things that are going to be coming up in the 24-hour stream, I got, I got Elden Ring set up with enemy, item, and fog wall randomization set up for dungeon crawl mode, so we probably won't ever see the overworld map, it's just going to be random teleporting to other locations. We're going to check out a game called Lunch Lady, which, uh, it, it claims to be a horror game, but I bet it won't be scary. Uh, Monolith is on the agenda. Oxygen Not Included is on the agenda. What else we got? 
I got the original Rogue, but in first person that we're going to look at at some point. Enter the Gungeon is going to happen. And Resident Evil 2 Remake, but it's been put through Google Translate 20 times. All right, yeah, I lost I lost my crowd of ruffians. Rogue in first person, what? It's called Rogue FP. I have played the first person Noidamat. It is hard to play. Let me tell you, it is hard to play. Oh, I should download the the high def Noidamat that Ephemeris told me about, where the camera's pulled out like an extra 50%. It looks bonkers. It's literally just like colors. Colors. Like it's impossible to tell what's going on. Well, let's just keep wandering into the desert until we run into more uh, ruffians. Actually, you know what? Given that I don't know where they are and like they're going to wander through here sooner or later, maybe I'll just set up my, my bed. Maybe we'll take a little nappy wappy. Camping. Buildings. Camping. Camp bed? Watch as a man struggles to figure out how to sleep. Camp bed. Confirm. There we go. Well, thank you very much, Febris. Ah. Uh, look at our horrible mutant sleep. All you could see is his giant foot. The rest of it's clipping through the ground. All right, we we piss baby. I'll keep a lookout for those ruffians that we want to have beat us up over and over and over and over again. You just you just rest your wee little mutated head. I'll look for the beat up gang. Have you played it yet, Ephemeris? Would you recommend it? We played uh, a lot of normal Noida today, a, lo a lot of very unlucky runs. But we also played, uh, I turned on just a collection of random mods without any concern to how they would interact, and it was a nightmare. My potato laptop can't handle it. I want to live vicariously through you. I will take a look. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll have that be the next Noida experience. Probably in like 12 hours or so, though. We have a lot of other stuff we got to get through in this 24 hour stream. This 24 hour plus stream, I should say. Oh, our poor injured boy. He's so beat up. Boop, boop, ba dee 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 dee. At this point, it's going to be a 27 and a half hour stream. I didn't play FPS Noida today. I played FPS Noida during, um... During the charity stream. Which this 24 hour stream is the result of. We we hit a milestone during the charity stream that was due a 24 hour stream. And I'm finally paying up. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. What do we have over there? Pack that bed up, baby. I don't think they're going to steal my backpack, right? They're only interested in food. But still, better safe than sorry. Well, 
Let us go. Oh, this is a positively puny group of marauders. Hope you're ready for the hurt, cause it's coming. Okay, now the hurt is coming, but it's coming from you guys. You misunderstood me. I want the hurt to come from me. What weapon do I have? I have the Fallen Sun. Oh, oh, they beat me up. Whoa! Well, that backflip did not impress them. No, oh, come on, dude. Take him. Take him. It's one guy. You can win this fight. Show them how much you've grown. Yes. Come on. Yes, you hit him. That's the first time I've ever seen you hit somebody. Oh my god, twice in a row. I am turning into a god. Auto save just as I get slapped in the head. You can't stop Wee Wee Piss Baby the Frogman. He's a human, but I mean, he mostly looks like a frog person. Holy shit, I think I got someone. Did he just take the time to crouch heal? That is cheating! Oh yeah, you're so good at this now. Don't fall over. Fight back, buddy. Come on. As long as he doesn't hit you in the stomach, which honestly, how could he? Look at how you're postured. Oh. He just home run wound up, hit me in the head with that metal bat. I don't know how I'm not falling over right now. Oh, one of my arms is doing a floppy thing. Oh god, it's it's wrapped over my body. No, oh god! Pee wee. Sorry, wee wee piss baby's down for the cat. We're up to 51 toughness now, we got that going for us. I, th I think we're healing ourselves right now. There we go. Oh, I love watching that arm just... It's like completely dislocated. It's just flopping freely around. Might have to split that bad boy up. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to splint. Did we do it? We all splinted up? Usually do it until 80 toughness. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing. I would love to get better at hitting stuff with swords or just like die in a moment of glory or something. I feel like maybe I want to take my bed out and do a little nappy nappies. Da, da, da. Early crossbow and micro the hell out of my fights, but that's a pain in the butt. Normally, I don't have a normally because it's my first time playing the game. Listen, I love hitting stuff with giant weapons. 
Ah, wee wee piss baby. Let's get that arm no longer broken. We can't, we can't fight with a broken arm. It is a fairly slow-paced experience. I was hoping Creedmoor would be awake by now for, uh... <laughs> for a lunch lady. But I could take a look at Rogue FP while we wait for Creedmoor to wake up. I wonder if he has his, his audio on. Creedmoor! Hey! <laughs> wake up! Hey! Well, if he has his audio on, we might we might have gotten his attention. It's important to have buttons like that. <laughs> I really I have I still have sexy sax on here, and I, if you were here, we we were playing Noida, and I said I'm gonna press a button and it's gonna go for like one second at most, and it was you know. -na -na, that that particular sax song and I made a joke like that was enough like it was just -na. It was like that was enough for us to get a copyright strike on YouTube and I was I was joking I was joking that it was enough for us to get a copyright strike I got a copyright strike for that half a second of that audio that is the most like laser focused copyright song I've ever experienced it's insane. Like, it's amazing. They, like, just laser focused on making sure that they get any and all money from people that use that song on the internet. It's like, I feel like I have, I, I feel like there should be a rule. Like, it has to be five. Not even five. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Anything under ten seconds, you shouldn't be allowed to, like, jump in there and be like, no. I'm going to take all the money from this four hour video on YouTube. Because they played. Nine seconds of my song like fuck right off. I feel like your four minute sax song. My my two seconds shouldn't be worth. Forever owning the monetization of this Noida run. That's just messed up. But the copyright system is just garbage. Ah, uh, nice and healed. Get up, buddy. No, <laughs> right back to sleep. Which one of these rations was I eating? Ah, it doesn't matter. Is there anything on this map I should walk to that's like interesting and exciting to take a look at? Before I, I take a look at other stuff? Before I play these other video games that we got, we gotta be making making plays with. Is this a snowy area over here? Ooh. <laughs> Turn off fast forward. All right, it's paused right now. It's paused. I'm gonna leave it on fast forward, but paused fast forward. It's a pretty big map. Weeks go by as he just stares at a map. That looks interesting. We got like a little snowflake shape thing going on down there. I might just start walking in a direction. Like I'll save my game, pick a spot on the map that looks intriguing to me, and just uh, either we die on the way or we, we see something new. But canonically, we'll save here. And if we pick this back up, I shouldn't say if, when we pick this back up, You'll need a DDR pad. I've been getting up pretty regularly just to like walk back and forth from my room to the bathroom or to the kitchen. I'm gonna walk all the way to this, what looks like a snowy wasteland. We're pretty central on the map. Like, I'm just gonna go with one of the extreme corners. And this one, this one appears to have a strange snowflake shape and I am, I'm attracted to snow. All right, we, we piss baby. Let's see what this wide world has to offer us. Oh, but first, a hard save here. 
given that we put the time into getting this guy's toughness up and like robbing an egg nest and stuff, I would like to pick this back up. But for the 24 hour stream, don't want to don't want to not get to all the other stuff I have to get to. That'd be awkward. Shem, settled nobads. The egg heist is great, I'm glad. I had fun. Honestly, I was having fun being stuck in jail forever. Like, I've mentioned before, but, like, I hyperfixate. And, like, you're stuck in jail. Like, I will get out of jail. I will do that. It's like, it's almost impossible. To you said almost. It's not impossible. It's only almost impossible. I can spend hours doing that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. Is that another one of those fucking little long neck bastards? Can I take one of them in a fight now? One of those beak things? <coughs> yeah, like, we're clipping through the floor constantly, so... I can't sneak out of prison. Doesn't mean it's impossible, though. Just gotta wait until downstairs there's an opening. And I would try over and over again until I did that. Is that a weed shop? We buy some ganja? Oh, it's, it's an animal shop. If I can't buy the chronic, what's the point? There is a secret drug farm? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is the secret drug farm? What kind of drugs are we talking about here? We got good stuff in this drug farm? Map open. Ooh, hashish, the good shit. It's on the right side. Like, here? Just gonna start heading in this general right-hand direction. And fast forward, without looking. In those mountains with the water between them. Mountain, mountain, water between, right here. Left and down. Over here? Over here? All over here? Shit, where, where were we? Oh god, the map moved! Oh, Jesus Christ. Left and down, left and down. Over here somewhere? Right there? Alright, here we go. The scale of stuff and, like, the graphical style of the chunky bits Every once in a while, it reminds me of, like, an MMO along the lines of, like, EverQuest or WoW. Early WoW. Well, once we get to where we're going, we'll be close enough that we could probably figure out where it is. Gonna do some drugs. Love doing drugs. Drugs, 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 drugs. Love some drugs, druggity drug, drug, drug. Apparently, there's drugs. We're going to go find some drugs. Oh, my God, Jimmy's awake for work. Good morning, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, I see some numbers flashing. It's a bunch of those fucking beak things. 
wailing on some people. What if I help them? Oh, this is a lost cause. They're not going to win. Yeah, it's one guy left. No, no, let's just get out of here. We got drug farm to see. All right, we're getting kind of close. Is it is it here very specifically in the mountain area? Just a little to the left of the water you're circling here. This this mountain range right here. Uh, this mountain range over here. In there. All right, we're on our way. Like in this little valley area. Classic choice, by the way. Setting up your drug operation in the... Uh-oh. Why is there a beam of god light? Is there like a orbital death ray coming down? All right, if these things are going to be attempting to beat me up, let's make sure I'm pointed in just the right direction. Wait, is that actually a death ray? Okay, I can't I can't do this on fast forward. These guys are going to beat my ass. Piss off. I hope there's a settlement on the way. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bad way. I can keep them at bay, but it's kind of annoying. I feel like I need one of those drinky birds just to be constantly leaning over and hitting my fucking button. I would love to do this on a faster speed. Ah, oh, those guys just had to pick a fight with beak things. Wonder if I can get the rhythm on a slightly faster speed. Let's find out. The answer is surprisingly yes. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's abuse that AI for all it's worth. Oh no, why, why did I lie down? No, 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 no. Move! Move, you stupid little piss baby! Empress Zombie Cat, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to Shake the Box family. Very happy to have you here. I, I'm just trying not to get brutalized by two beak things. Yeah, I got my backpack back on. Oh, no. You're kind of healthy for now. They hate you because you look two-dimensional. Yeah, no, I got, I got a very heavy backpack and a lot of heavy armor. I, I sure do hope there's a settlement between me and where the fuck we're going. Otherwise, these these Dodongos are going to eat my ass. Strange Town, yes! Yes, we're Strange Town! Why'd you stop? No, the mountain! No! No! No, don't eat me. Don't do it. Okay, don't move. Don't move. 
Just stay perfectly still. Why do they only peck you when you run? We're, we're abusing their AI. Listen, have you looked at my character? Would you? Would you want to eat this thing? Would you want to eat a man who looks like this? I'm very happy that I scream no and my character scream no at the same time. That was that was good shit. If you tried to eat this guy, you would have like a shin bone poking out of your throat. Where are you going? Go to Strange Town, you lunatic. Whoop, orbital death ray. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get hit by one of those. Alright, we we piss baby. Let's go to Strange Town. Where we could sleep off being savaged by a giant fucking beak dinosaur. I want to see monsters that have bones this big, like living ones. I want- I want to encounter them. Something's wrong with Bone Dog? He's probably starving. Yeah, no, he's a hungry dog. We forgot to feed this guy. Meanwhile... All right, buddy, I got food in my backpack. If you can make it to Strange Town, I'll feed you. Oh, yes, I love watching this dude swim. Perfectly normal swimming right there. The only parts of him touching the water are knees down to toes. Elbows down to fingertips. The rest is totally out of the water. That is peak swimming. No drag. This man would be Olympic gold medalist in swim. He's a water strider. Yeah, he's like a water strider bug. Ah, uh, look at him go. This is peak physical performance right here. He's wearing armor, but he doesn't want his armor to rust. I think the tiny kick stroke would hamper speed. <laughs> His backpack is a sail, he's just catching the wind. And we made it to whatever the hell this place is. Hello? You guys want to check my bags or something? No? Yeah, I'm just allowed in? Man, security here is lax. We got a bar. I don't know what kind of store that is. Oh, this is like a looter's outpost?
Welcome, friend. Show me what we got. Skeleton legs, skeleton arms. How do we replace our arms and legs? Do I do anything special? Do I just rip them off? Say goodbye to the old flimsy bits? You gotta lose them. Wonder how Boner Dog Boner Dag's doing on his grand journey. Have frogmen eat them off? There's an answer to every problem in this game. Meanwhile, dude, he's he's making good time. I don't know if he'll make it because of the hunger, but if he makes it, I'll give him food. Uh, thank you for watching me sleep, buddy. That makes me feel so much more comfortable. I, re I really appreciate this. This guy is like, I'll keep, I'm gonna keep you safe, buddy. You sleep. I'm just gonna stare unblinkingly at your sleeping figure. You can trust me. It's like paranormal activity. You love that your characters have like, I'm, I am surprised that I could just have a character off on one side of the map and another character on another side of the map. That does blow me away a little bit. It's, he's just staring at me the whole time. Boner duck. Remember that whole part about making it to town so you can get food? Did you forget? I'm gonna be so proud of Bar Dog if he makes it. If he could actually make this journey. Mr. Clancy, what are you still doing awake? I thought you were going to enjoy a nice night of sleep, Mr. Boner Dog might make it. He's passing by several settlements. If he knew how to buy things, he could just buy his own food. How's main character doing? Almost fully healed. Oh, Boner Dog's taking a nap. Everyone gets to be awake. Oh, that's what's happening to Boner Dog. I guess I could have main character try to reach Boner Dog. Like if I re if I meet him in the middle, we could save Boner Dog's life. All right, I'm gonna have main character start sprinting toward Boner Dog. Come on, baby. Come on. We're gonna meet in the middle, baby. I'm not gonna leave you for dead, Boner Dog. My dude's taking a sweet ass time, though. Flats. Oh, he was swimming. That's why he was moving so slow on the map.
All right, what's like kind of the midpoint here? Right here. Right here. We'll have both of them run for the same spot. Keep our eye on the dog. Every time he goes unconscious, we're going to have to micromanage him a little bit. This is this is partially my fault for telling the dog to stay at the far left side of the map by himself. I can't help but feel I'm, I'm partially responsible for him starving right now. But only partially. Just watching these two dots get closer together. Then I guess he'll come with me to the drug farm so I could feed him along the way. All right, we we piss baby's fine. Whoop! Boner Dag fell asleep again. Come on, buddy, wake up! Oh no, are we on? Are we on Boner Dag? We're on Boner Dag. Except Boner Dag ahead in a, a slightly oh god, are they are they heading for him? Please beak things, be chill. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh no. Wasn't until the eleventh hour. Oh, how fortuitous is this? Boner Dad is gonna run right through this crowd. This is everyone else's problem now. Holy shit! Boner Dag is going to be fucking fine. Boner Dag fell asleep. That's a bad time to fall asleep, Boner Dag. Fucking hell. I cannot believe that Boner Dog is going to live. If it wasn't for that, like, small army of rebels running at that very moment, in that very location, this dog would be inside the belly of the bee. Oh no. Oh god, come on. Not now! Boner Dag is so close! Fight back. Fight! Where's Boner Dag? I could just run to Boner Dag to give him food, but I feel like it's faster just to let these guys beat me unconscious and then go feed him. I hope he could last long enough for me to get beaten unconscious. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go to Boner Dag. I just want to, like, let them beat me up. I'm pretty sure Boner Dag fell asleep. Kind of, kind of serendipitous timing on that moment. <coughs> yeah, we gotta keep Boner Dag over there. Man, if I would have made my character not hunch over, I would tower over every other character in this game. 
I'm the same size as a normal person, but I'm folded in half and I'm in a Slavic squat 24 hours a day. Well, at least I'm going to learn how to use sword a little bit better. Yeah, find out I have- No! No, I popped up! Get the fuck out of here. God! I'm not even telling him to stand up, he's just doing little cartwheels for fun. Alright, buddy. I'm a-coming. I'm a coming, Boner Dag. Hang on, Daddy's coming, Boner Dag. Hang on. Pop Pop's coming, Boner. Pop Pop's coming. You motherfucker. Is this how you want to die? My boner needs me! Alright, good. Jesus. Where's Wee Wee Piss Baby? Oh, boner. <laughs> boner talks unconscious. Go to him, he needs you. Alright, fine, heal yourself a little bit. Boner Dag's awake. Go to Wee Wee Piss Baby, buddy. I can't believe this happy reunion's actually gonna happen. Do I need to splint anything? Of course I do. My god. Yeah, beak things out of nowhere. Bah, bah, da, bah. <laughs> oh my god, it's a happy reunion! I never thought it would happen. Dog, you look like you're still hungry. Alright, you two, back to Flats Lagoon where we could do some sleeping. Oh, I can't believe. Whoa, whoa, Butter Duck! Our dog's unconscious. I can carry dog? Pick up. <laughs> Show me. Oh, I don't like him flopping down there. Where'd you even come from? Oh my god, did I kill a man? I killed a man. That's what happens when you- Oh, boner dog. Bo- Whoa, boner dog has no bones! Why is he so floppy? You motherfucker, I have a floppy bonerless dog. I am a loving parrot, you son of a bitch! I'll kill you! Oh. 
what happens. You should have left well enough alone! It looks like I'm wearing Boner Dog as some sort of... <laughs> he's like... He's like a scarf. He's just flopping all over the fucking place. Worst stole ever, yeah. No! Wake up! Boner Dog, no! Oh, God. All the things we've been through, you're a dead man! Boner Dog's okay, he's alive! Butcher him for meat. How do we butcher him for meat? Boner Dog's okay. He's okay. Pick him up. Fling that body around. Boner Dog's still with us. He's still okay. We woke up just in time to kill Boner Dog. Uh, kill the bandit trying to eat Boner Dog. He's safe. He's safe for now. He's flopping around in my arms, but he's alive. He may have lost all of his bones, but he's still got his spirit. Those are some tall cactuses. Come on, precious baby. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. I could have taken their stupid stick. I sold that same stick in town a while back. I'm now glad I played Kenshi if only for the... The riveting and, and emotional ups and downs of can we save the dog before he dies. That was, that was some real touch and go stuff there. Hold your breath, dog. Hold your breath. <laughs> oh, you take it so they don't have a weapon when they stand back up. I'm hoping he was dead. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to injure him. I wanted to kill him. I want him to wake up in the next life, not this one. If he's going to be standing up at all. Why is money going up over there? The game doesn't let you intentionally kill for some reason. That seems bizarre, given... given everything else about this game. Seems like a very strange and deliberate choice. Where was that in? There it is. Yeah, yeah, like, it sounds like it's just gonna cause the problem of, I need- I need this guy to not keep him on- I need to stop this guy from attacking me repeatedly. 
All right, let's put down. Oh, Mr. Watches You Sleep is back. That's nice. Gonna drop some food on the floor for Boner Dog. While me and myself, I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna have Boner Dog stare directly at the meat just in case he gets hungry. But obviously I I gotta I gotta solve some problems in the I'm beater beaten up and battered. AI never runs, it always wants to fight. I know, I don't know why the music is just exploding randomly. The guy, uh, good question. It, it seems to only ever happen when I'm fast forwarding. It gets weird. That is just still going up. This game very much is like the personification of Janky. But it's it's a very enjoyable and fun kind of jank. And there it goes. The music just fades away. Ah, getting nice and healed. God, it takes forever to recover from starvation. Eat the food, dog! Why is it nameless zero? Does it takes you a long time to recover from starvation, Mr. Mr. Clancy, <laughs> Patrick? Eat the meat. There we go, he ate some. That makes me feel better. So how am I doing here? Total equipment bonus, minus 12. The people on Survivor, when they'd win the all-you-could-eat buffet prize for a competition, they all shit their guts out since they had been eating grass for months. Good to know. Live and drink, my friend. Trying to figure out, I got... I got, like, one of those bottled Starbucks Frappuccino coffee things. I need to strategically figure out what hour I'm gonna drink that. The 12-hour mark seems like a smart place for it. Because that's gonna be 5 a.m., and that's when I typically go to bed. But also, I feel like maybe I want to save it for, like, when we get to, like, <laughs> noon or 1, 1 p.m., like, around when, when I'm getting past the point where I would have woken up for the first time. Maybe I save it for that point. I gotta be strategic with these things. Alright, I'm back to normal. I think Boner Dog is good now. All right, Operation Find the Secret Drug Farm is back on. Let's go ahead and save, save the game again. And I feel like I remember vaguely where it was. It's in here, right? Yeah, like over here. Fun thing with animal mechanics, they have severe debuffs to their skills and stats that go away as they get older. They gain stats... 
just doesn't show up until they're older. It means training your dog as a pup will train them much quicker than if they are adults. Like, I guess it makes sense that they would be easier to train when they're young. But the stats element seems... seems a bit odd. I mean, a lot about this game seems a bit odd. Which is fine. Like, that's kind of the fun, I think. I was someone just burped in in my my ear. It sounded like. All right. Once we find this drug farm, I think that's when we'll. Is that a dead beak thing? Ah, fuck you, beak thing. I'm glad you're dead. Take its meat. <laughs> All right. Dog needs meat. Loot. Animal skin. Meat, meat, meat. Isn't this meat gonna go bad? Half the meat in there was already foul. Really, it won't go bad. That's interesting, given that there was so much of it that was listed as foul meat. Going to a secret drug farm. Gonna do drugs. It's a secret drug farm. Gonna get high as balls. Stobes Gambit. It starts off foul. That's odd. That almost feels like there was a plan for like a spoilage mechanic. And they just kind of were like, nah. That sounds like hard. That sounds hard. It's just, nah. Eh. Secret drug farm. High as balls. Discovered Secret Drug Farm. It's literally called Secret Drug Farm. Look at that. Secret Drug Farm. A lot of marijuana grow operations back when it was basically illegal everywhere to do it would happen out in the mountains, like out in the forests. That way it's harder for it to be picked up by bypassing helicopters looking for that kind of stuff. So they, they got it right. Are these weird marmosets attacking me? Are these like half bats, half sloths? Come on, just roll down the hill. Well, that was an anticlimactic journey to the drug farm. Boner Doc, how are you doing? Listen, I'm only merely unconscious. When this timer's up, I'll get up and heal myself. You'll see. Come on, baby. Yeah, bat slots, bloths. One. <gasps> oh, R.I.P. Boner Doc. Holy shit, I'm alive! I'm actually going to find out what's in the fucking secret drug farm. It's all right. We'll, we'll have the last save, the canonical save. We'll have Boner Dog with us if we ever turn this back on, or when we turn this back on. Still a Kenshi? Once I get to this drug farm and do some drugs, I'm going to switch over to something else. I might do a little bit of rogue FP while I uh, give Creed more some time to wake up. All right, people. Don't worry. Canonically, Boner Dog's alive, all right? We're gonna use the save I just made earlier. Boner Dog will be with us. Because, like, this drug farm is just, like, I want... I want something 
to cap off our, our experience in Kenshi for the 24-hour stream. And the drug farm seems like the perfect place for it. Boner Dog showed us what matters. Yes, it's, it's the journey, not the destination. And also, that dogs are more important than anything else. I, re I really, I will fondly remember forever now the exciting journey to save Boner Dog from starvation and all of the near deaths that happened along the way. All right, we're in a secret drug farm now. Is this the kind of... What time is it? Where, where's the clock? I'm so bad at knowing... Is that AM? Is it 1.37 AM? Is this the kind of place where I'm allowed to go inside the buildings during the day and it's just they're sleeping now? Or should I just start breaking in? I guess I could just set up my, my, my mattress outside. I would. If people are interested in more of this, I would play more. Alright, I'll do a quick save, and I'll, I'll set up a tent over here, and if we survive, then all the better. If it turns out they're aggro when we wake up, can't build too close to another town. Yeah, I enjoyed this. It was fun. Oh, motherfucker. There's, there's deadly ass... Deadly ass bat sloths all over the fucking place. I want- I want the drugs. Alright, buddy. Make a break for this one and see if maybe we could lock- lockpick before they notice me. Gonna get better at lockpicking, that's for sure. Not nearly as good as our other character. The Floor Kisser, whatever his name was. You know, it's a nice bookend to the experience. We we started Kenshi by lockpicking, we're gonna end Kenshi with, with lockpicking. <coughs> it's poetry, it rhymes. We're in! Oh hell yeah, this is this is your normal marijuana operation. It's hydroponic hemp. Why is the why is there no hemp in there? Wait, you input water, you output hemp? The crawling kisser, yes, thank you. Number of plants ten. Yeah, but how do I it clearly says number of plants 10 down there, and then, like, I click on it, it says it's empty. Loot? Do I have to actually grow my own drugs here? Are there no ready drugs? Come on, man. I just... I'm jonesing. I want to get high. <gasps> Hashish. Narcotic product that can ruin your life, but get you arrested. <laughs> uh, mm, mm, I'm sorry. Uh, effects include foolish giggling, increased sense of humor, and enjoyment of food. Narcotics are illegal in most towns. It will get you busted if you're caught smuggling. However, the potential profits are huge. The Traders Guild won't touch them. Despite all of this, however, the drug remains popular, especially in borderland towns where the laws are less aggressively enforced. The idea of, like... This nightmare desert land, this lawless wasteland where someone's like, Whoa, do you have marijuana? You're going to jail. It's like, dude, cannibals are outside. You kidding? Yes, well, those are law-abiding cannibals. Thank you very much. Hemp is commonly used to make fabrics. Water jug. <laughs> do I have to actually grow my own drugs? Are these three distinct boxes? Yes, they are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill my backpack entirely with hashish.
At least those cannibals aren't doing drugs. You could learn a thing or two for them, lawbreaker. Those are patriotic, law-abiding cannibals that only eat from approved sources. And they're not doing drugs. Oh my god, if I could just literally fill my entire backpack with drugs and properly start smuggling some drugs, I will be... I'll be right chuffed. Alright, Ken Kenshi's now officially a drug smuggling simulation for me. I have a new life now, alright? The drug smuggling life. <laughs> Those are for you. Om, nom, nom. Listen, we're gonna try and figure out how to do the drugs, obviously. Damaged book, water jugs, building material. Anyone know what the sale value of hashish is? Restart for bones. Don't worry. When we when we turn this back on, we will restart for bones. I'm just very excited about picking up the drugs right now and then trying to figure out how to do the drugs. There's no room. There's no more room for more drugs. How do you rotate items in your inventory? Oh my god. Oh yeah, wooden backpack. Wooden backpack and stack. <laughs> Huck him on the floor for now. Wait, Ephemeris is right. Like, we're just gonna pick up with the save where the dog is not dead. I don't need to stack them right now. What I need to do is to figure out how do I do drugs. Can I not do them? Am I only able to sell these things? Right-clicking on it doesn't bring up the contextual menu. So far, it doesn't seem like I could do drugs. Come on, wee-wee piss baby. Wee-wee piss baby. Jesus. What do you think this is, Noida? I expect that if you let me find and sell drugs, you will let me do drugs. Anyone know? Can you do drugs? Dear Chet GPT, I have a lot of drugs. How do I do them? This is a very exciting way to make money at the very least. No more stealing eggs from me. It's all about stealing the Mafia's drugs and selling them in towns. I'm very curious what the sale value is for these drugs. Doesn't look like you can in the base game? That's a little disappointing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I opened the door and I got attacked by a small robot spider? Well, now we know. Hash sells for 500% plus in Flats Lagoon. I've noticed that small knife bot here is rather bad. Oh god, it's just gonna stand there waiting for me to get back up.
do, 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 do. Playing dead. Singularitarian. Singularitarian. Thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to Shake the Box family. Ooh, uh. Well, got some good height on that one. Selling in these towns gives plus 1200% bark, heft, hang, chopatai, stout. <laughs> We're stoked. Yep, you're dead. No, 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 no. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to turn this around. You'll see. The bot has his back to me now. We're going to engage sneak mode. I just have to stealthily patch up my wounds. And then stealthily close the door. With him on the other side of it. Your character's unconscious. I'm sure I'll wake up soon. Come on, bud. Come on. Well, you could turn this around. I know, if only we could do drugs to ease the pain of dying. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. We've defied death so many times with this character today. But this one might be this one might be permanent. Unless. Our blood meter's going back up. We might be able to turn this around. Come on. Ain't over until the game says it's over. Just a little bit of first aid, it's all it's gonna take. Come on. Why is the countdown timer backwards? What? Creos, you're just sleepy. You're, you're sleepy is all. What's the number when we die? Minus 100? Either blood's gonna get back up and we might wake up, or we're gonna die. I think- I think maybe we're not gonna make it. Wee wee piss baby is dead. You slept for like two to eight. Think you're good? All right. We have a bunch of games we got to play during this 24 hour stream and Kenji was very enjoyable, but it's time. It's time to move on to another game. I guess I'll, I'll continue. <laughs> What's backwards? I'll give Creed more a little bit more time to sleep. R.I.P. Piss Baby died like a true piss boy. That he did. We wee piss baby lived like he died in a puddle of urine. You want to take a look at Rogue FP? Little Crow, what's going on? How long was this run? I don't know. Is there like a way to see that information? How long have I been playing Kenshi? I feel like I played this a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I think we've been playing this for like four hours? Time is already getting... getting a little wibbly. Yeah, four hours sounds right. I feel like I did like six-ish hours of Noida. Yeah, one hour, yeah, Noida got like six hours. We did one hour of being stuck in jail in this game. And like literally just spending the whole time in prison. And then like four hours in, uh, sorry, three hours in this run. And this was a good run. I like this character. Most you survived was like 20 minutes. Thanks to Taco teaching me how to cheese this game, I made a lot of money and bought a lot of armor. And then I let a bunch of hungry people beat me up for fun. Am I getting your, my food delivered to me? Well, not anymore. It's like... It is 3.30 a.m. out here right now. Someone tried to order me food, but unfortunately, uh, the restaurant was closed, so it didn't work out. But thankfully, I made baked ziti yesterday in anticipation for today, so I was ready. All right, I'm going to take a hike. I.e., I'm going to get up, take a little walk, stretch my legs, refill my water bottle, empty my bladder. When I come back, we'll take a a much shorter peek at something. It's called Rogue FP. It's literally the game Rogue from a thousand years ago, but in first person. So not too long in that one. And then after that, 
We'll either do Lunch Lady, which is Creedmore's request, but I feel like Creedmore died. Fill your water bottle as you empty your- Oh, that's so much easier. Thank you, yeah, that sounds- that sounds so much more efficient. Well, let me- let me... Boop. That's why. That's why the clock's backwards. It's his fault. I'll go back on this side. Alright, BRB.